As May 20th gets closer and closer, many people want to know what will be done to keep everyone safe. Tonight, we're looking into dental offices, which have only been open for emergencies. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Shantae Passmore received a closer look at what you can expect on your next visit. Shantae, what did you find? Mark, when you listen to the plans in place, you can see a very detailed outline for safeguards. Yet, a framework is just a part of the equation. The real deciding factor for whether a dental office opens is if it has enough PPE. Dentists are the experts in infection control. Pediatric dentist Dr. Mimi D'Alessio Mata says this confidently. After all, the AIDS epidemic revolutionized standard practices. We've always worn masks. We've always worn goggles when there's an aerosol, obviously lab coats and gloves. Starting Wednesday, your dentist visit will change. Gone are the toys and reading materials. The Connecticut State Dental Association tells Eyewitness News the waiting room might be inside your car. Temperature readings will also be done to curb the spread. But what could easily upset this game plan is found in the challenge of getting PPE. That also is what is going to determine if an office can open up. Their ability to have, and we are recommending at least two weeks PPE because there's a backload and they're hoping that will open up in June. In 20 something years of practicing, Dr. D'Alessio Mata readily acknowledges every detail is based on information only weeks old. It's unheard of in the scientific community. Is it too early to say for dentists as far as what would change differently now that we're kind of trying to get things open again? It's a really good question about a teachable moment. I think we're so new that it is going to take a couple months to look back and say, was that based on data? Was that based on fear? Was that based on optics to make our patients just feel better? And we know reopening only makes sense if people are kept safe. Today, dentists and hygienists worked on additional guidance for offices to follow. We learned they submitted it to the governor for review. Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.